short on time just to raise our expectations. <laughs> I agree. All right, y'all are live. All right. Well, good evening, everybody, and thank y'all for joining us this evening. I guess the first big news is uh, that Tawana has taken over for John. So um, we still have her on uh, the overall team, but it's just us now on the hiring and retention stuff. Um, First of all, I've been told that we need to approve the meetings from back in August. Um, is there anybody that has objections to the draft uh, minutes from August? Hearing none, um, can I get a motion to pass the the, uh, the minutes from August? I so move, Tom Woodman. And do I have a second? I second Ruben Cruz. All right, thank you, sir. We're got those approved. Uh, next thing, I don't want to keep anybody here any longer than we need to tonight. We made good progress over the past month finalizing the proposed uh, questions. Got those sent over to the city of Brookhaven. Um, <clears throat> we have a meeting scheduled uh, for tomorrow with uh, Dr. Williams, myself, Dr. Bates, who will be administrating the um, survey, along with uh, Lillian and Helena um, with HR and, and Brookhaven. Um, Kyle, could you tell us a little bit about uh, background on Dr. Bates and uh, what his expertise is? <coughs> sure. So I'm Dr. Bates. Um, it comes to us from the higher education world um, where he has worked to advance diversity, equity, and inclusion and has worked with assessment. Um, given the information that we are looking to obtain, um, what we are really looking for Dr. Bates to do is to collect the data, compile it, and make recommendations. Um, we are going to be uploading the information into um, the SurveyMonkey and sending it out. Um, but the ability to have the objective individual to look at that, we will get the raw data, um, but we do need someone to look at that raw data and provide us with recommendations on how this can be um, looked at. He's worked at several institutions of higher education where that has been something that he has done previously. And so um, he was another individual that I thought could help us in working um, to get this done in a timely manner. Wonderful. Um, and also tomorrow um, during our our conference call, we're going to be discussing uh, introductory language um, and finalized revisions. The city may want uh, tweaks they may want to the survey. Does anybody, uh, since we're we're here together and have both Lillian and uh, Helena with us, um, any specific issues or language? Um, y'all think is uh, important to have in that introductory language to the survey? Um, remind me, did our earlier survey draft include introductory language about the purpose and process? It, briefly, it was basically a model. Uh, the main thing we want um, and the, the city wants as well is for the, um, the employees to understand why we're doing this. Uh, the fact that it's it's going to be anonymous and can't come back and be used um, any sort of way for retribution, anything like that. Um, and uh, plan to explain a little bit of the overall goal with the uh, Social Justice, Race and Equity Commission um, and why we're doing that. That's all good. Do we have any idea what the um, city's 
review comments may be on any of these things? Don't know yet. That's the, we've got the meeting scheduled for tomorrow, um, and they may still be actively finalizing that. But uh, whatever recommendations we receive, uh, Dr. Williams and I will definitely bring that back to the rest of y'all. Okay. I was a little bit confused about some of the recent chatter on uh, base camp, and I was thought I had understood that maybe the city wanted to take charge of this instead of us having an outside vendor. So I think that's actually a good thing that we we're moving this direction. Maybe I misunderstood. Well, I think there was some talk about that they had the capability at first, and when it was explained by Tawana, the reason that we wanted the outside vendor, um, it was approved, and we've moved forward since then. Is that correct, Kyle? Yeah, it was approved um, at our last um, commission meeting. Um, okay, yeah, I'm sorry, I missed that one. Yeah, it was, it was, I mean, yeah, so literally we did our presentation, and as Tawana was speaking, um, Christian said, Oh, I can do that. And then literally that's how quickly it happened. So, um, yep. Yeah, so that, so that's how it got approved. Good job. And we should have a timeline from Dr. Bates tomorrow as well. Um, on once we, uh, implement the survey, how quickly we can get the, the information back so we can start digesting that, um, the goal, I believe, is to try to have the survey completed uh, by the end of this month to the first week in October. Um, so then we can gather uh, the information there and, and start working through it um, so it can assist us in our final recommendations uh, to the uh, Greater Commission. So it sounds like the staff that will respond to this will have at least two to three weeks, maybe. I understand we're going to we're trying to give them a week to two weeks, uh, but we'll finalize that tomorrow as well. And I can open it up now, uh, roundtable. Um, if y'all have got any uh, specific questions or issues you want to address. Lillian or Helena, do y'all have anything um, that y'all want to share with the uh, with the team before our meeting tomorrow? Uh, good evening, everyone. This is Lillian. I just want to do a formal introduction. I have not joined you all since joining Brookhaven, but I'm delighted to be here. So I come to the city of Brookhaven as the new director of human resources. So I'm very excited about working with the committee. Uh, my past history, I served in the capacity of vice president over a racial justice department for many, many years and have done uh, a number of diversity and inclusion initiatives. So uh, this is second nature to me and I'm delighted that Brookhaven and the committee is uh, very innovative and in looking at ways to improve what we already uh, may do well or have opportunities to do things better. So um, Helena and I will be here to service the committee and the employees to the best of our ability. We appreciate it, Lily, and look forward to working with you. Thank you. Good to meet you. Thank you so much. Kate or Ruben, do either of y'all have any questions or issues you want to address? Um, uh, myself, I don't. Uh, I okay. don't uh, because when we were when we've been working with Tawana, we've addressed all the issues. I've given our feedback on everything that I felt needed to be changed. So at the moment, I'm good. Very good. Well, unless anybody has anything else specific to add, um, I don't want to take any more uh, time unnecessarily because it's we've got uh, sort of the meat of things to work on in our, our call tomorrow, and we'll have a substantive update for everybody after that. Good meeting. Thank Sound you. good to everybody? Thank All you. Right. Well, I appreciate everybody being on board and uh, have a great rest of your evening and a great rest of your week. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Y'all take care.